Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. You ever wonder where I got that name? I'm not going to tell you today. You know, I really wonder what's wrong with some people. You know how they say you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink? You ever watch certain horses go down the road pulling a buggy like they do in my town? <laughs> Anyway, they'll have blinders on. And I think we've got something in common here. I think there's something to this. Anyway, what we want to do today is we're going to bring back a couple of images that if you have been following any of the uh, Mars research channels, uh, you've seen these before. And uh, I felt we really needed to pull them back out because they could be very important because there's something about these that I don't think that many people realize. It wasn't very long ago that I realized it myself. I'm not saying I'm the first one to realize this. I don't know, but I just realized it myself. So we're going to take a serious look at this and we're going to look for some help from you. Okay, if you'll recall, this is the Curiosity image that got people's attention because of the thing that looks like a leg bone up top. Now, this is from Seoul or Martian Day 725. You know, I've always said that, as in a great number of these images, there's so much more that is a red flag visual evidence that someone has already been here. That object to the right, I believe it to be a mechanical piece, but we'll look at that another time. Today we are digging up bones. Or is it? It does look as if it could be, but we really can't tell. It shows up in a few other images, but no good 3D look has been obtained thus far. Now, in this image, it appears in the extreme lower left, and this is Sol 728, three Martian days later, thus the rover has not moved. But we looked around regardless at the other images from these days, before and after, and, well, there is a lot of interesting things scattered about. Again, this device. And areas that I contend to be broken concrete or similar composite building material. Because we've seen this molded in images as on Earth. And some of that is included in 3D at the end of this video, so make sure you watch that. And then we have Sol 732, only four Martian days later. We are still in the area, folks. And we have this. Is this animal remains? And does this give the nearby potential leg bone more credibility? Now take a good look here and remember, if this is indeed an animal skull, it could have gone through calcification and it could also be covered with fallout from the disaster. The most compelling parts of this are what appears to be a mandible and two rows of teeth attached to the skull. But see the shadow cast by the jawbone as well as the one cast by this area of the skull? Compare that to the shadow from this section and it's safe to say that this is not an extension of the jaw here. Of course it could have broken off, but it is not attached now, so we will for now just leave it out. So. These do at least appear to be two rows of teeth. They are fairly consistent with what we'd expect to see. And, and the end, or snout if you want to call it, you know, may be broken away here. Now here's an example of a horse skull, whereas there's an extension of the skull where you will find the horse teeth or incisors. But here's an example of a prehistoric horse where that extension is also missing, as in here. And look, what's up with that? This really seems to me to be something artificial that is attached to the rock that looks like a skull. So, if that is actually a skull, what could possibly be attached to this mouth, mandible area of this animal? How about it, folks? Now, there are considerations, but being from Texas, I do know horse bridling 101. Horses have incisors up front, or horse teeth, and molars way back there. So, 
If a bit is used with the bridle, it rests here. In the interdental space, you hear it called the bars because there are no teeth in the area. It's bar, like the cupboard. Seriously. So, in our potential skull, maybe the extension is missing and the bit, if there is one, is resting too far back to be considered part of the bridle. But then again, who's to say it didn't slip to the back of the animal's mouth during the cataclysmic event? Look, everyone, please, take everything into consideration. Let's find out whether either or both of these objects have enough of the qualities needed to be considered as being strong evidence for former life. Do not allow your decision to be biased by the preconception that, because the objects are on Mars, that it just cannot be. Show this to people who are experts and contact me with what they say at the email provided in the description. And NASA has covered up a lot in these images, but they've also left a lot of evidence. Is this some of that evidence? So for the following Crossview 3D stereoscopic images, if you do not know how to do this, follow the link above and learn the technique. We will allow each image to sit for 20 seconds before moving to the next. Of course, you may pause the video at your convenience. At the very end, the versions that require stereoscopic glasses will be presented. These will be 10 seconds each. Remember, Crossview does not work on these, so don't even try it.